And hello, YouTube. Just get off the uh, I-10 West Rapid Bus. It's uh, I bet it's I bet it's 6:30. Hey, it is 6:30. That bus is is timely, if nothing else. Uh, yeah, 6:30 p.m. Wednesday, August 3rd, 2022. Just checked, uh, double checked on the Obama phone. And hey, look, there's that guy that walks across in the GYR three hoodie again. So apparently, the uh, yeah, Route 17 just dropped off a little bit ago. Um, I did get a pizza from Pizza Hut. Uh, it was, uh, you know, compared to what I pay for Costco pizza, it was really expensive. Um, but, you know, I didn't have a lot of options where I was at. I mean, as y'all saw in the last video, uh, assuming you saw the last video, and if you didn't, oh, you need to watch that one. You need to watch that one. That last video was... Um, yeah, definitely a high point of this vlog. I hope I don't screw it up and mess it up like I did that that one video I shot that got viewed by a whopping two people where I had a homeless woman throwing popcorn at me and yelling at me. Um, uh, this one was different. The homeless woman made me an offer that uh, <laughs> is kind of the offer I've been waiting for. Just uh, at a time when I... Uh, really wasn't able to take her up on it. I, I'm actually kind of glad. I, I, it's something I shouldn't be doing. But I tell you, it's, uh, it's a pretty damn lonely existence I have right now. And, uh, yeah. That just is what it is. So, uh, um, oh, yeah, and as I mentioned that, you know, I was trying to, if you didn't see the last video, like the highlights were, uh, where I, uh, I, uh, Tried to try to go to Boast Donuts to get food. Uh, uh, tried to go to Boast Donuts to get food. Uh, figured I'd you know, get a sandwich, uh, chill there until they close, since they do have seats in there. And I don't know, it was about you know five. It was about 5:35, and I got there in time to see the woman locking the door and closing up. And I asked her what time they, she's like, oh, we're closed. I said, you're closed? So we're closed. I said, what time are you closed? She said, six o'clock. It's like, it's like 5.35. I mean, that wasn't the exact time, but I mean, I looked at the clock until the exact time. And, you know, <laughs> no explanation for that. She just kind of gave me a look. <laughs> like, how dare you know how to tell time and tell me what time it is. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, well. That's kind of the world we would live in today. Good, good help is hard to find, and I'm I mean, it's actually impressive they even have employees now because I think for a while they were closed because they didn't have any employees. I really hate the fact that they did not put that. Fuck this up to where it's so difficult to get through. Shit. This forex already squeezed through there this morning. Too old to be doing this kind of shit. Oh, so my birthday's coming up. August 6th will be, uh, wait for it. Wait for it. Uh, hang on, let me get a free hand here. I'm trying to pick up my Amazon bag, which is falling apart from all the use it's been getting lately. So I am uh, this many. Yeah, that many. God damn it. Um, although I did did have an interesting moment at work. Uh, the, uh, the, the young, very flamboyantly femme guy that uh, asked me whether it was a top or a bottom and seemed confused when I told him neither. Um, he, um, um, I, I figured I'd mess with his head a little bit and I was like, uh, um, I was like, I was like uh, yesterday I was like, I said, you know, about your question yesterday, said, yeah, and I told him something kind of explicit that that I used to do with my uh, ex-girlfriend. Ex-girlfriend, I just keep wanting to call her girlfriend. She's an ex-girlfriend now. The woman who keeps blowing up my phone with text messages I don't want to see. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, she, uh, I just told her something explicit that we used to do and asked, 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 uh, asked if, if that would, uh, 
that would if that would make me a bottom and uh he was like wait you do what what is that <laughs> it's like like gosh and i figured of all people you would you would know and and then he what he told me was i was not ready for what he told me it was like uh he's like i don't know a lot of stuff i'm only 19. i was like whoa <laughs> thinking to myself shit i got kids older than you um and anyway, I was like, damn, okay, I, I thought, and I feel bad, like I couldn't, I just didn't even think about this before I said it, because, you know, it's the, that's just the, I don't know, I just, some things I don't, just open my mouth, let shit out, I don't think about other people, yeah, I don't think, I mean, it's not that I don't think about other people, I just don't, hey, the coca belly lamp is still there, I gotta remember to grab that in the morning, assuming Priscilla doesn't pick me up, I pretty much told her, if she wants to uh, get her shit for me, that the only way I'm gonna have time for it is if she picks me up here at 5 30 a.m because seriously by the time i get home it's bedtime and i'm tired you know it would be the equivalent of of if she worked all day and then had to ride a bus 90 minutes to get home at night and she and she got home at like like midnight me showing up at, at at 1 or 2 a.m. Like her showing up in the middle of the day is equivalent of me showing up at her place at like 2 in the morning and expecting her to wake up and deal with my shit. Bitch, you know what my sleep schedule is. Um, yeah. So I just, I said you need to either be here at 5 a.m. Or, or or she's gonna have to wait until I have a day off. Because, uh, yeah, I'm, you know, I mean, I guess vlog shows pretty clearly I don't have a lot of, when I, when I don't drive, I don't have much in the way, even when I do drive, I don't have much in the way of time outside of work, commute to work and sleep. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a rough life being a wage slave. It really is. Um, and I, and I even told her in the last company center would that like, that, you know, that's kind of the situation and that, um, I'm not going to let her impede on my sleep so that I have another accident at work. I've never told her about the forklift accident at Amazon, but, and you know, but whatever. I mean, I, le I did legit have an accident at work and, and granted I've been largely, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm owning up to the accident. Don't, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to blame that on somebody else, you know, and ultimately it was on me not paying enough attention and I've largely put the blame as far as, you know, why was I not paying attention? And there was a, a, a pallet of PPP lids, uh, blue lids, which I mentioned in the videos, you know, right after it happened. Uh, there was a pallet of PPP lids, right, uh, blocking like about half the entrance to the work zone. And I was focused on it, trying to make sure I didn't hit it and hit the barrier on the side. Of course, when you, when you look at the position, like there's plenty of space between me and the PPP and I hit the barrier. So um a more more honest re realistic assessment of it but this is certainly not what i'm putting in my uh in my incident report is that i was tired i was at the wheel of a forklift tired and the reason i was at the wheel of a forklift tired is because i have an obscenely long work commute that involves a lot of walking and a lot of really tedious bus transfers and i've got drama at home and i got a woman at home well, not anymore, thank God. But I had a woman at home that made it difficult for me to sleep because she'd be in my daughter's room right on the other side of the wall. Blah, 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 blah. Well, you need to blah, 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 blah. Bitch, go to work. Go to work. As in, leave my home and go to a place of employment. If you want to do a work at home job, you need to get your own home. I've been telling her that, like, pretty much since she started that job. It, it, but it's it's really been more of an issue since I've got the job here at Amazon, uh, you know, because it, it does. It makes it difficult for me to sleep. And then on top of that, you know, I mean, you know, yeah, the, the, the sex issue, that's that's a big deal. You know, I get home I went, as, as an adult man who's who's used to having an active sex life. Um, yeah, you know, that shit wakes me up. I wake up sexually frustrated. It wakes me up. I sleep a whole lot better. If I get a little action that gets finished, that gets finished, I think all adults that listen to know this know what that means. Um, and then I go to sleep. I think most men sleep better after that. 
Hell, I think most women sleep better after that, as long as they're able to finish. Um, but generally speaking, I've been able to finish Priscilla, you know, if, if she's making the effort. And these days when she's not, I'm finding it hard to care. <laughs> well, these days, I mean, that's a, that, that ship has long since sailed. But anyway, um, yeah, so... Um, Anyway, I'm at work. I just need to let this go. Uh, anyway, there's more text messages just coming in from her. I need to I need to answer them. Um, did finally get some text messages from Jeff, and he said he did come by my place to try to help me out with the issue with my phone. Which I, I those are the vlogs. <laughs> those are the vlogs I still haven't haven't uploaded. That I'm, I swear they're 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 gonna make it. I'm gonna post them soon. At this point, everything's over with Priscilla, so so I may as well just reveal what it was that I thought that she did to me that she didn't actually do to me and how bad it messed me up and granted that was all in my head but considering the things that she has done to me it wasn't outside the realm of possibility uh, anyway oh oh so anyway uh, yeah so the 18 year old <laughs> now in my mind he's a kid I thought he was a grown man granted a very flamboyant gay man but a grown man nonetheless um, and um, and I, I told him, I, I, I said, damn, I figured you were around 30, I figured you were around 30. <laughs> he's like, he's like, oh, I look so old. I'm like, N I mean, <laughs> yeah, like, like how it tactfully answered that at that point. I'm like, well, you know, he, I mean, in, in my head, at that point, I just kind of like stopped I'd rather than take myself down deeper. But I'm thinking to myself, well, you don't look like a kid because in my mind, 19 is a kid. Although I, I've, I've, I've mentioned that, you know, uh, one of the guys I work with here is, his name is uh, Adrian and he's 18 and he's one of the hardest working, most mature men I've ever met in my life. Love working with that guy. That guy fucking hustles and he's got his shit together. Um, throwing that out there. But you know, until he told me he was 18, I would have never guessed he was that young. I mean, he looks young, but he doesn't look that young. And more than him not looking that young, he doesn't, doesn't act that young. He doesn't have the work ethic of someone that young. And to be fair, the rather flamboyant guy also does not have the work ethic of somebody that young. He doesn't work anywhere near as hard as Adrian does, but but he does definitely work. I mean, he's been here longer than I have. I've been working alongside him since literally my first day. Uh, anyway, um, <laughs> but I told him, I told him, uh, and he's like, do I look that old? And I'm just like, I don't, I didn't even know how to answer that. And I, I just, I just kind of came back with, dude, how old do you think I am? And he goes, oh, I don't know, like 41, 42. And I just started laughing. I'm like, uh, yeah, you need to add a decade on that. Add a decade on that. But anyway, um, anyway, I got to wrap this up. I got to get inside, get myself some, something to drink, be ready for day work and take a look at these last barrage of text messages from Priscilla. But I'm standing by, I, I need my sleep. I'm not trying to not let her get her stuff, but I, I'm not bending, I'm not bending over backwards to make it easy for her. After all the, you know, she's, she's done how much to help me out in the last like year, like not much, you know, and things I've asked for and, and simple things that she could have done from, from not leaving me sexually satisfied to not leaving me stranded and having to walk and walk and walk and walk and 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 and, and just just generally and just and not cleaning up after herself oh my god just not fucking cleaning up after herself and then all the times where I'm about half asleep and she climbs into uh, climbs into bed with me wakes me up arouses me gets me all I'm already having trouble sleeping because I'm sexually frustrated and then gets me aroused and then leaves me like that and I'm like, oh, I don't have time gotta go and then you know me getting home and oh, I'm tired priorities I'm tired bitch I'm tired now I got now it's time for me to say I'm tired and I have my priorities it's 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 my time anyway thanks for coming with me on the 